Hey Stampers, it's Maggie from ilovepapercrafts.com and today I'm going to share a sympathy card with you and I'm going to show you how to do this faded out technique. Very simple basic technique and uh, I'm just going to talk quickly about some of the elements on here. So we've got the Lacey Brocade folder in the background and I've used the color combo of Perfect Plum and Basic Gray. And then this is the So Story stamp set and the Best of Flower stamp set which is the best of set for the month of March and I want to show you something really cool. So, if you get one of these stamp sets in with it, you're going to get this collector's card. And then when you look, oh, I must have already taken mine off here and put it on another card. So, you're going to get a sticker on your sheet. Mine was right there, but I took it away. And you're going to stick them on here. And when you get, you've purchased six of these, you get a stamp set of your choice for $17.95 for free. So these best of sets are a great way to build up your collection and give you lots of different ideas. And I just always like to point out the collector's card and the sticker because I know a few people have thrown them out. So what we're going to do for this is we're just going to do a gradient technique. I believe that is the right word. And we're just going to ink up our stamp. Now you may recognize this as a stamp we had years ago called Upsy Daisy and this is um, much smaller so it's not to scale the other one but I, if you have the other one this is really cute to coordinate to do your envelopes or maybe the inside of your card. So you're just going to stamp it once, move along and see how it fades out and that's it. And that creates that simple effect and you only use one hit on the ink pad. And then we'll do our So Sorry. And that's it. You have a really simple and elegant sympathy card. And it's really never a good time to make a sympathy card, is it? So I always like to make up a bunch so I am ready. And I have another one half done. And then I've just used Whisper Weight Taffeta Ribbon here and tied a bow. And if you want to see a video on tying a bow, go over to the Card Making Basics section. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, or if not, head on over to YouTube, which is youtube.com slash I Love Paper Crafts, and you can see a great video on an easy way to tie a bow. And I trust me, you will be so thankful because the day I learned this changed my stamp on life. So if you have any questions, you can shoot me off an email, and uh, you can comment below or subscribe. We love subscriptions because that means you're never going to miss another video from yours truly again. So have a great day, and thank you for your time. Take care. Bye.